Hiya. I'm having a cup of tea, look, and uh, this is one of our mugs that I've put a picture of uh, our goslings on. So I thought I'd start with that and let you see what I was doing. So I'm going to have a quick drink. So I've got that frog in my throat again. There we go. Um, right, one or two people have asked me what it's like when you've, you've got going with uh, latch hook crochet. So I'm going to just show you a little bit with this scarf. This scarf, I started off, I'm making another cowl like this and look at it, it's it sort of started off really wide and then it got a bit thinner and I think I was uh, expecting too much because I forgot to count, didn't I? Forgot to count the stitches. But really with a cowl, it doesn't matter and, and we'll come back to that later. Um, a lot of the stuff I do is free form crochet so I actually um, don't do a lot of counting at all it just it's, it's there's no pattern to it you just do it so but, but that's something we can talk about another time is free form crochet the latch hook crochet I do is all free mostly free form anyway so anyway I'm doing this stitch which um, I don't think there's a name for it it's a cross between a double crochet and a triple crochet but that doesn't matter I'm going round and round and then into the hole when I do latch hook crochet, I like to go into holes rather than the top of the stitch as you would normally do if you were doing um, traditional crochet. So I'm just going to show you that you can get going quite quick with this and it does build up really, really quickly. Um, I'm not going to do this for long because I want to show you something else as well today. So this is me doing my next cowl, this green one. I'll show you that another time, how that gets on, goes on. And this is me making stitches. Okay, you, I'm winding on this stitch, I'm winding it around twice, and I'm going to the hole, coming, pulling through two and pulling through three, winding it around twice, and that's how it's done. Okay, so I'm going to stop there. And I'm going to show you, oh, this was in one of my videos, and I thought I'll bring that out and show you a little bit more detail there. Okay. And uh, so that's one flower I did, and these are some more flowers I'd, I've been doing lately, and something a little bit different. They're both latch hook, and I'm going to show you today how to join two chains together because we looked at doing a chain, and that's easy. So the next stage really is to join them to both together. So here I've got a chain that I made earlier. Okay, so I'm going to put the two ends together like that. And you don't need to tie knots or anything when you're starting off. You just go into one of the loops, one of the chains, put the yarn through like that and bring it through. And then I'm going to do six chain. You don't have to count them actually, about six. And then I'm going to sort of measure and then hook in to the next hole there and yarn over, I'll bring it through and do another few, about six, five or six, and then measure. Don't know that you can see all this, let's have see if I can get it in the screen. Okay, measure, hook into there, pull it through, like that, and do one, carry on with the chain. So you're slip stitching along that yellow chain like that, bringing the loop through, three, four, five, six, if it, it can be five, it can be six, I don't think I'm going to worry at this stage if it's counting the exactly, three, four, five, six, there we go, so you, you're just yarning over and pulling it through both of them. I don't know whether you can see this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and there, yarn over, pull it through both the stitches on the hook, and finish that off with another short chain. There, comes to the end, like that. Pull it through, and then the pair of scissors, cut it off, and pull the pull them both through. I think there. Okay, 
So that's joining two, two chains together. Right? Now the next stage, I want, I want to finish off, and hopefully it's not too long this, this video, but the next thing is to show you that you can easily make um, a nice rainbow kind of um, headband, okay? Which would look nice. Um, they're doing lots of rainbows, I think, in, in um, windows at the moment to catch people's eye, and I think that's nice. It's sort of a sign of hope. So here we've got a sign of hope there rainbow headband so we've got the first one I've done one here okay so I'm going to show you how to do the next row so you've got start it off like the one we've just done which you could make as a bracelet there we go look one is a bracelet and this one you can make as a headband so you go into the end anywhere at the end there just pull it you know, pull the yarn through like that for your very first chain and then do six more. Well, I think to start off with, you just need to do three. And then you go into, not into any, you don't hook into the yarn, into the chain this time. You just go into the hole and pull that through like that. And then you go one, two, three, four, five, six. And then into the next hole through there. Pick up a loop and pull it through the one on the hook. One, two, three, four, five, six. Go into that hole, pick up a loop, and pull it through. One, two, three, four, five, six. Go into that hole, pick up a loop, and pull it through. Okay, so that's the next stage there. You carry on like that till you get to the end and then hopefully you can put some more rows on in exactly the same way. Now there is a video, on my YouTube video, there's a, a video showing you how to do that, that headband. So uh, maybe you can check out that one there. Okay, bye for now.